you explain this 61 68 caliber and why are they measuring the jewel ratings and uh, I've always believed that you should always defer to one smarter than yourself so hang on one sec I'm gonna bring Luke in here you've met him he's gonna whiteboard this thing for you guys I want you to understand exactly what's going on here we go all right guys so I'm smart enough to know what I don't know all right Luke here is a numbers genius and I want him to give us a rundown on Number one, why that jewel rating has changed on the page, why they did it, what it actually means, and what it's going to mean for either the kinetic energy and certainly the amount of powder that's going downrange. So, Luke, take it away and show them what I don't know. Okay. So, um, pen and paper out, class is in session. My name is John Luke Reynolds. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I'm actually his son. Um, the way that this works, we're going to start with the claim. So, the claim is 41 point nine joules per square inch now for those of you who haven't taken physics classes or maybe it's been a couple decades this may look alien which i totally understand we don't care about joules per square inch we care about joules right that's the number everybody's familiar with so i'm going to convert this 41.9 joule per square inch into joules the way this is going to work we're going to start with the diameter of the round turn that into radius pi r squared gives you the area of a circle and then we multiply it by this 41.9 and we'll get the amount of joules it's firing really easy so 0 0.61 inches for your diameter i'm going to take out my handy dandy calculator 0.61 divided by 2 it's 0 0.305 we're going to go ahead and square that multiply times pi we're dealing with 0.29 square inches on impact with a 61 caliber round we're going to go ahead and multiply that by 41.9 any guesses on what the joule number is? The total output for this launcher is 12.25 joules. I'm gonna write that down, 12.25 joules. That is the output of the launcher. Now, one of the claims that it makes on the website is that it has the exact same impact per square inch as the LE, correct? Correct, the as burning the, LE. Okay, now, I'm gonna put you on the spot. I want you to tell me right now the kinetic energy output of the Berna LE. Uh, on average, about 15.5 joules. Okay, let's go with that. 15.5 joules. Okay, now we're going to reverse the process that we just did. The diameter this time is 0.68 inches. Okay, 0 0.68. Can you tell I'm not a teacher? <laughs> so we're going to take that 0.68. We're going to divide it by 2. That gives us 0.34. We're going to square that, multiply it times pi. Now, with this, you're dealing with 0.36 uh, square inches for impact. Now, we're going to take that number. We're going to divide 15.5 by that. So I'm going to take 15.5. I'm going to divide it by that number. And what do we get? You're going to be pretty surprised. That output in joules per square inch is 42 point six seven that's pretty close i i think it is fair to say that's about the same right now uh your next question is going to be how can get they get the same number with two completely different joule outputs you're talking about a difference of three joules which is fairly substantial um that is because when you're dealing with we're going to do two circles here all right we're going to have 0.61 and 0.68. This joule per square inch, all you're doing is you're taking one of these small squares and that is your joules per square inch. And you multiply it by all of the squares in the circle and that gives you this big number, okay? Same thing here, except for now you have way more squares. So that is how you get the same amount per square but you end up with a different overall joule count. And what is this going to mean for the uh, amount, like say we're firing pepper rounds, yes. what is it gonna do for the amount of pepper that's in the, in the round? Now, that is actually a question on volume. Now, without writing this out, actually I'll write it out real quick. The volume of a sphere is four thirds, for those of you who don't know, four thirds pi r cubed. Now. Let's go ahead and take the velocity of, we'll do, or rather the volume of the LE, and then we're gonna have the volume of the CL, okay? Now, 
The volume of the LE rounds is going to be 0.68. So we're going to take that 0.68. We're going to divide it by two to get the radius. We're going to cube that number times pi times, and then we're going to do times four thirds. Okay. So the total overall volume of the 68 caliber rounds is 0 0.16 cubic inches. Now, for those of you who are into science, I know you get really angry when you see stuff in inches, feet, miles per hour. Sorry, I'm working with it. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing, but for the CL, we're going to take that 0.61 divided by 2. We're going to go ahead and cube that times pi times 4 divided by 3. Now, this might surprise you, 0 0.11 cubic inches. And if you want to know the difference, we're going to take this, divide it by this. So I'm going to divide it by that last value we got. And you're dealing with the 61 caliber round is about 73% the size of a 68 caliber round, which means it's 27% smaller. Right. So that, uh, that means that you're getting 73% the volume of pepper gas that you would get out of a 68 caliber round. So you're losing about 27% effectiveness, but you have the benefit of vastly increased velocity. So you could argue that it levels out. Right. Now, as far as uh, impact value for the round, if yep. we are dealing with a smaller impact area, mm -hmm. is that going to be felt on the other end of the round? The receiving end, is it going to be noticeably different or the same as the LE if you're firing a 68 caliber? Right. So uh, that actually goes on to momentum. And the uh, equation for momentum is just mass times velocity. Now, you are dealing with a relatively significant less mass, but a higher velocity. Um, I would not necessarily say that you're going to get increased effectiveness out of the smaller range only because you're or rather the smaller size, only because you're dealing with so much more powder in the 68 caliber. Um, to be honest, I don't think it's a sufficient difference to justify getting the 68 over the 61. Uh, the only thing that I would say is maybe it would be better to bump this joule amount up. Um, just to be able to compete with the larger projectiles. Yeah.